Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use multiple monitors to your advantage. Now there's a lot of different uses for multiple monitors connected to your Mac. And there's a lot of different things you can do with them to make your life more productive. So first off, if you like to video edit, and I do a lot of video editing, what you can do is you can open up, this works for either iMovie or Final Cut, and you can distribute some different parts of the window over to your secondary monitor. So I'm going to open up iMovie. Now in this project you can see that on the left monitor on my secondary display I have the viewer for iMovie and on the right I have my project library as well as what I'm working on editing. Now normally the viewer would also be on the main display and it gives you less room to edit. So this right here is how iMovie would normally look. But what I can do is I can go up to the window menu and on the window menu I can go down to viewer on other display. And as soon as I click that, you can now see that my viewer is on the other display and I can work on editing from right here. Now the same is also true for Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see on the left monitor, my secondary display, I have all my event libraries and my clips. And on the right I have my viewer and my editing as well as inspector windows. So normally in Final Cut Pro 10 this is what you'll see. But what I can do is I can go up to the window menu and if I scroll down you can see I have a couple different options here. Show events on second display, show viewer on second display, or revert to original layout. And I'm just going to show events on my secondary display. And now you can see from here my events are on my secondary display and it gives me more room to work. Now you can also use your secondary display to show handy information with something like Geek Tool. And I did a different how to on that, and I'll make sure to put a link in this post so that you can see uh, how to set up a Geek Tool on your desktop. Uh, but from here, you can see I can display handy information right on my secondary display. Now, of course, the main function of a secondary display is to run other applications. So you can see here, I always run a Twitter client on my secondary display. And this really makes effective use out of the space I have. But my final and probably favorite way to use a secondary display is to use it for file organization. Now if you look on my main monitor here, you can see that it's very clean and very neat. And there are no files and folders scattered around my desktop. But if you look at my secondary display here, you can see that I tend to keep a lot of files and folders on it. And kind of scattered around where I need them and for what I need them. And this I think is the most handy thing that you can do with a secondary display. Well, it's probably one of the most overlooked as well. For example, when I'm working in the Finder and I have a whole bunch of Finder windows open and let's say I want to grab something from my desktop, I don't necessarily want to have to dig through all the Finder windows or maybe use Expose or something like that to get to the files on my desktop. Uh, where with having all my files on my desktop on my secondary display, it's very easy to quick access and drag things over. Uh, you can also apply this to emails if you want to drag over attachments, all kinds of things. If I save any graphics from the web, I can just drag them right to the secondary display. Uh, it's very handy and it's very useful. And this I think is probably the best way that you can use a secondary display. So I hope this video helped you maximize the possibilities of your secondary display. And as always, if there's any how-tos that you'd like to see me do, make sure you leave a comment or send me an email so that I can get right to work on any how-tos you'd like to see me do in the future. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.